guys, we are heading to a call for the local sheriff's department this morning. There's a uh, abandoned car on that side was completely engulfed in fire. And it, from the uh, pictures I've seen, it's off the road in a looks like a, some kind of a right away or something maybe. Um, they're, they're not even sure what kind of a car it is. Um, so the thing is completely burnt up. So we're heading over that way. We'll be there in a minute. Thanks for watching guys. Pulling up here, we uh, passed fire and EMS on our way in. So I'm guessing they got everything put out. Our lights. See if we can find us a car. Morning. Morning. Where is it at? What? Where is it at? Other side of the tracks. All we know is that it's a Honda. <laughs> it's a. We, it, it's a Honda. That's it. Must yeah. must be pretty crispy then. Oh yeah. No, it was pretty much completely burnt out before anybody made a little scene. So. Good grief. Nobody around it, I guess? Nah, no, no, if I was a betting man, I'd say it's stolen. Ah. But. Which is a heck of a place to put it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it probably would have been a while before anybody found it. Except, yeah. Uh, the giant, the giant glow. Well, I mean, that's like I said, it was burnt out even before then. Like I said, it just, the uh, train was rolling by and happened to see it. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's still going to be a little bit warm, but. Yeah. Everybody was curious how you were going to get it. Huh? Wished it wasn't on this side of the tracks. Uh, yeah. uh, we do have trains stopped for the moment. Okay, uh, that, that's good to know. I mean, I, sh I can get a. I'll put the just back in right here and just kind of slider around there's plenty of room for me to work here without being on the track so yeah that's like we haven't we told we call them whenever we got it picked up yeah so it's, awesome for now. Just bottom road. all right let me back in here real quick Interesting one. Some kind of a stolen vehicle or something, probably.
bunch of rain recently, so... This had to be kind of off the road, at least. There's a decent little path that leads to it, so... It's across the railroad tracks. angle here to get over so if we have the uh, trains stopped at the moment out right backed up a little bit too close here. Just a little bit. I don't like the uh, angle of the bed there. I could see the angle that we're working at right now. This thing is like 
just about straight up and down. Remember there, burn up. Just gonna have to grab this thing however I can grab it. chain bridle. Pretty hot. Pretty burned up. Don't know if that's going to work. But it'll get it at least spun around. Come stand on the other side here. Snatch block up a little bit. Shoulders in the weeds. Really? 
wish that I could feather the controls from this thing. Really don't want to be standing where I'm standing. Really need the block to be one spot. Oh, it doesn't really give me much room. I wish y'all could see the angle of this. Not much room to work right here. gonna clear that wheel. Might have to pull my bed in a little bit now. Come on. Why? There we go. on this one. Deep of an angle we're at, and my remote wants to remote wants to slide down the bed. There goes the body. Huh? And 
things where anything goes. the amount of heat still coming off of this thing. Good.
goes the cool spring. If there's just one or if there was a bunch of them.
side looks like. Front tires are coming up on the bed. That side is dragging down the side of the bed. bed out from under it here a little bit. That wheel is still. and spin on this one so we're just gonna have to kind of deal with it hanging off a little bit inside that wheel. the bed on this higher on this side if I can block under it here should push that side down to the bed just like that
just about. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it up. Get it up across here so that way they can get to running again. Just about got this thing where I want it. up. If I can get this wheel up just a little bit more, I'll be happy. out with it. I'm not working at such an angle. down on the bed now. Other bits and pieces down here. What is that? License plate? Yeah, but the top can't melt it off. Can't see nothing. No. It's a Texas plate. Yeah. Is it a dealer plate? Looks like real small numbers on it. No. Looks like maybe a three. Yeah. Can't read it from the back side. No. It looks like one of them like hard dealer plates because it's got the real small little letters on it or something. Wish they had um, some. I wish they'd just go back to stamping. <laughs> right? Instead of printing everything. Definitely two, maybe. Maybe a two, maybe a zero. Anybody's guess? That one definitely looks like a three. That's definitely a three. You can see the little. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. You want to take a picture of that or anything, or no. I'll throw it inside just in case. Ooh. Did you find out that it was red? It was red. It was red. I 
something else hanging off the dragon. Snug back up here. Slid back over. Get a couple J hooks to keep it from to uh slide back over at me here. Got the arm out, I suppose. So I'm not gonna have four points on this one. Just gonna have that snug so it doesn't want to slide back at me. come over this steep railroad track. Right. Oh, my neck light died, so that wasn't doing a whole lot of nothing. Get my airbags airing up here. As soon as I see air pressure on my bags, I will uh, go ahead and pull over the tracks here. I want the rear end to come up before I really go anywhere. y'all could see how steep this little railroad crossing was. I got an ant somewhere. I'm getting eaten up. I'm going to stop here and secure those doors real quick. No, you can't. Look how the thing is just about as tall as the car loaded on the bed there. That's how steep the driveway that was. I'm throw a couple soft shackles around these. That one's not going to work. I'm going to have to grab a tie or something for that one. A couple more soft shackles. Zip ties or something. Pack of zip ties here. get me some of the metal zip ties for stuff like this.
get us to the yard. None for us to sign and get out of here. Sure, you probably ain't got nothing for me to sign, huh? Nope. Alright. Yeah, this is central, isn't it? Or is this south what? end? This is uh, central. Central? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alright, thanks, sir. Yes, sir, thank you. Alright. Got her loaded up. Get it uh, hauled over to the yard. Got the uh, doors and everything secured shut. We are headed to the yard. We are back at Central Yard. Get this thing dropped off. Yes. Came over here with just the one J hook. These are unloading these are kind of the ones you get to have a little bit of fun with. Don't really got to worry about hurting anything. Snug my winch back up. Hanging off, dragging the ground over there. it off however it comes off. I'm gonna lift up with the wheel lift a little bit. Yeah, I can get a little more angle out of it without the bed. There's a teeter totter in so much. Something under the wheel lift or something, I guess. Slide it out. Push it back. Do it again.
push it forward. Like I've got ants all over me. Get it. Hang anything down there. There we go. Hang on us now. This thing must have been really, really hot for it to melt the way that it did. hooks up off of it real quick. Shouldn't be too bad. Look at this right here. I gotta go wash all the crap off my bed. There's mud and soot and all kinds of junk all over my bed there. That is can go up there. Pulled it on this side. All right, we got that unloaded. Said they believed it to be some kind of a Honda. Of course. Everything's made of aluminum nowadays, so VIN plates and license plates and everything then melted off this thing. No really nothing stamped in there no more. Go ahead and throw that other wheel inside of there now. Chain bridle off. All the wire and stuff. All the saw shackles off of it. It's hoping not to, uh, waste a bunch of zip ties on this thing. All right, got this thing unloaded. And go ahead and Finished getting all my stuff picked up here. 
I'm gonna go wash my bed off before I get to go back to sleep. I'll be ready for whatever comes next. Thanks for watching, guys.